Hello everybody, this is War Death Fun. I'm making a video again on the same subject as my last video. Do you um, request um, of me explaining it how to make a mod map? I watched my video and I can understand why you people don't understand it. I talk ridiculously too fast. So I'm going to try my best by talking a little bit slower and sort of explain a little bit better. I'm not going to get busy of all these tags and stuff. I'm just going to tell you how to get there, how you can type it there, and that's it, really. After I'm uh, going first access the map, and go to options, at the very top, right here, go to options. And when you click on options, you should see some, you know, options, of course, there. And you should see a check mark next to beginner mode. Uncheck it by simply clicking on it. If it does not have a check next to beginner mode, then don't worry, you're set to go and make your first mod map. Go to edit, and you should go to the very bottom. It should say any editing. Now, if you don't see it again, it's because you have beginner mode on, and you should uncheck it. That's a good way to make it on and off. Click on any editing, and once you do, you should see it pop up like this. Now, this is where a lot of people get confused. I'm going to try to explain carefully what to do here. Now, this is why I recommend you need files so badly. This is how you would get some coding. Now, what you do is you go to the link provided in my description of this very video, download the Eureka Revenge any file, and if you're blind, you know, you can download Red Alert 2 too. Not to the point, but if you don't have your revenge and you only want to do this Red Alert 2 or something, then maybe you might have to download Red Alert 2 files. I'm pretty sure in that case, and don't download the your revenge files. And once you do download, you should open the zip file and look for a file called rules. Is it your revenge? It's going to say rules MD. After looking for it, you find it, click on it, open it. With notepad, if it doesn't open a notepad, and open a notepad. And you should see something like this. It should say lots of text, you know. And basically, that means that you're now able to change it. Now, if you want to change a certain building, then you type in the building's name. Easy as that. For example, you want to make an oil there to produce more money, then not only do you have to find the building's name code that you type in, and the very pop up. But you gotta find all the tags under it to change as well. Press control F that makes a find search engine thingy in the very note that. Type in tech oil. There. And you should find this right here. And you should see a 72 equal C A O L D. That right there um, uh, may not make sense to you, but that's um, uh, the number the building has, and the CA oil D is the code the building has. Now, if you type in a different building name, you might not get um, uh, that. You might get something like this instead. You might get something completely different where you just get the section. The section is this right here. And basically, at the very top of the section, you have two brackets, and between the brackets is some random text. That right there is the code of the building. In this case, tech oil there code is C A oil D. Now you go back to final alert, you click the add button that's right here, behind um uh, on the top. If you get another new pop up that's it looks like this. Type in exactly all capital, exactly what it has, C A oil D. Whatever is between the brackets you must include. Don't include the brackets, just what's between them. The exact order. After so you click OK. And then you search for the section. It should appear somewhere, but I found this right here. And it should be completely blank under here. It should look a little like this. Now, um, uh, after selecting the oil, Derek, go to here. There's another key, another button. It's called right here. It's called section content. That means that what's in this section right here. Click on add. And then you type in a certain code, a key to look at. Um, uh, look in the rules, any file. 
and look at the ability to and look at it, and look and decide what you want to change. For example, you want to make a given or money, the odds are, so you look under here and you look at it you know, closely. And if you're observant enough, you may realize the coding that says produce cash amount. And so, if you're experimental enough, you might try it yourself, but just take my word for it. Let's add that, that gives you money. So I'll put it in exactly the exact way that it was. Capital T, produce, capital C, cash, capital A, and now, equal sign. Remember, no space is exactly the way it is in the notepad. And then put in a random number here of how input as high as you want, and that's how much money the building will give you now. This works in all buildings, not just oil there. It only works on buildings, though, but it works in any building. For example, if you want your construction yard to start giving you money, and you can put in produce cash amount. Keep in mind, though, you have to also add produce cash delay, which is capital P produce capital C cash capital D delay. Equal sign, and put in any number you want for how often you get money. Now, keep in mind that because there's a countdown of when it gives you the money, you might not want to put in a really high number unless you want to take forever for you to actually get the money. Now, I'm sure that you're probably confused. I'm not trying to figure out how to make it simpler for these people, but I don't really know a way. Now, all I can say is, you wouldn't read the rules, my any, and, um, uh, Basically, do what I said. You might want to watch this video a few times. Try to figure out what I'm trying to say. All I'm saying is, go to Options, turn off the beginner mode, go to Edit, go to the very bottom, select any editing, and add in the keywords there and stuff. Again, use rules aiming to your power and look for the building code. And look up between the brackets. You need some random letters. Type those letters in, and then that's the new section name. And then when you select the section, go down to Section Content, and select Add, and then add a key. And the key, again, is all the stuff in the section. Now, if you want a good list of keys on what I think is pretty um, uh, popular in the crowd, go watch the video that this is a video response to. This is not an actual tutorial. It's just to go into brief on how to get started through the fact that I talked to that. Now, the last video in the description has a pretty good um, a description of all the keys that you can use and what it does. Now, I um, uh, don't know if this helped or not. I don't know if you understand any more. I um, uh, don't know how to explain any easier. It's really not an easy um, a subject. But once you get a hand hang of it, um, uh, I think that you'll understand. What I recommend doing is if you have a mod map already done, I recommend right away opening it and go through um, uh, any editing and just sort of observe it and change it to stuff and see what happens. I think you'll learn that way a lot better. Um, uh, there's different learners out there. Some people can learn just by watching it first, but you know, there's some people that need to have you know, a better video or a better you know, description. You know? so. And then there's some people out there that need to look at it themselves. I'm one of those people, actually. And that's how I learned how to make a mod map, is by opening other people's mod maps and basically looking at their covers. And so I gave you some ideas on how to get started. I think you know what to do from here. All you got to do is download the any files, read them, understand them, then use them to your power in the actual map. Over time, though, when you understand making buildings, um, you should be ready to watch my next video on how to make infantry units modded and how to make vehicle units modded. Um, uh, the building's a lot harder, in my opinion, to mastery. The units, you know, are very easy, in my opinion. And so, once you get a hang of these buildings, I'm pretty sure that um, uh, you'll be more than a brave new unit. And so, let shut this video down right now. If you don't understand, again, post a video, re not a video response, post a comment that's saying how I can make this more understandable in the future so I can make better videos. And I appreciate you guys watching it. Go ahead and watch my other videos and have fun on that video. Again, ask questions if you desire to and watch the other videos.